Well, she was adamant she would never be a teacher. Little did she know that it was actually her destiny. And this morning, we introduced you to Mrs. Brenda Miller, our KENS 5 Excel winner for East Central ISD. We'll go down to that spot. Welcome. What stagnation does to, to Brenda Miller's home away from home. Right here is a beautiful willow tree. Here you'll find her hanging out with her students several days a week, just outside East Central High School. This is a wetland. For as long as she remembers. I dreamed as a girl, a little girl in this school district being a scientist. It's my earliest memory, second and third grade. I got my first microscope when I was eight. It's, it's here in the classroom. <laughs> but actually, teaching the subject, Dropping. well, that's a whole other story. No, actually, I was adamant that I wasn't going to become a teacher, that I wanted to work in the lab. And for the longest time, she was not teaching until. Well, I became a Texas Master Naturalist because it was a chance to volunteer in the community and do engaging restore, restoration and conservation projects. When you found out that this is it, I want more of this, I just can't let it go. It was a little problematic because I kept calling the teachers after I left their classroom and asking them, well, did they need more information? Do you need me to answer questions? Did they use the information? I was hungry. I was hungry for my own classes. Naturally, the next step was to get her own science class. So her midlife crisis was a bit different. I was 40 and a little bit out of my mind to start with the young ones, but they're inspiring every day. She followed her newfound passion and took a leap of faith. It's not a lot of people that are reaching their middle age that get lucky enough to find where they belong. And I feel like a kid again being with the kids in class. Our Ken's 5 Excel Award only goes to the best of the best. And you have made it there. And it works. Ignite them with that same level of passion and enthusiasm that she has. And now they're they're talking about it in the lunch rooms. They're talking about it at bus. They're talking about it in between games. Miss Miller is all the talk. On behalf of the Kent's Five and Credit Human Teams, I would like to present you with our Kent's Five Excel Award this morning. Congratulations! Yay. Yay. Miller teaches aquatic and AP science, and for a good portion of her classes, she's outside. This outdoor haven slash classroom is something she actually helped build. And it contains benches. It was built with our woodshop teacher and my dad and 23 students. We constructed it ourselves. Um, and it's awesome. Not only is it a chance to breathe some fresh air, but it's a way for her to teach these kids what's really in their backyard. I take them into the field and I show them, what do you see here? We begin with the observations that they see. Well, it's a tree. What's on the tree? What's under the tree? How is the tree responding seasonally? It's a, it's a matter of opening their eyes to what they already know. Not everybody gets to do their hobby while feeling personally um, necessary every day. And she just had this energy about her. You couldn't help but smile watching her talk the whole time. Miss Miller also received $1,000 as part of our Excel Award with our partners, Credit Human. We honor teachers from 19 school districts every year. So if you'd like to watch the great stories of our other Excel winners, make sure to go to kins5.com. And of course, Paul, next Thursday will be another teacher that we honor. And you guys, all these teachers, the stories just get better and better. It's amazing, especially this year, having to deal with remote learning and all of that. It's just a whole new level of teaching.